Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I'm now in Bukit Bintang. It is at night and I have it with me the Panasonic GM1. I'm going to do some night street shooting and bring you guys along with me. Let's do this! I've had this Panasonic GM1 for a while now, but I've never done any low light night shooting. Usually I bring this GM1 out for my street photography outings during the daytime when there's plenty of sunlight available. Rightfully so, this is not my best performing low light camera. Usually for night shooting, I'll, I'll be more comfortable shooting with my Olympus OMD cameras that have more powerful image stabilization and the newer image sensor that do better in low light. But I also always say that it is not about technical obsession. Don't worry too much about high eyes or no just go out there and shoot, grab the shot, and it's the moment that matters. And so I'm bringing this Panasonic GM1 out tonight. I'm pairing it with the kit lens, the Lumix 12-32, f3.5 to 5.6, because this kit lens has image stabilization, so it does help a little bit. And I'm not worrying too much about the high eyes or noise shooting in low light, while this camera does have an outdated Micro Four Thirds 16 megapixel image sensor. I don't care. I'm leaving my eyes all to auto, and I'm shooting with P mode because P is for professional. And we'll see what kind of shots we can get. The main challenges that I face is not just shooting in low light and having to use high ISO. The challenge is actually using this camera single-handedly because I do need to hold my DJI Pocket 3 with the other hand and I need to shoot my photographs using this Panasonic GM1 with only one hand. Hand holding this camera is not easy. It doesn't have a powerful image stabilization and added to that, I also have to deal with this camera being too small. It doesn't have a large handling or beefy grip for me to hold comfortably. Anyways, I'm just complaining. I should be just focusing on getting my shots. And you know what? It's not about getting that winning shot. It's not about trying to find the award-winning or National Geographic Photography kind of photographs. It is about going out there, enjoying myself, immersing myself on the streets and really trying to observe and try to enjoy the walk.
Another main reason why I haven't done much night shooting or night POV street videos is because it is very difficult to do so. I don't want to carry my huge cameras to record video while having another camera to take photographs. There's just too many items to handle all at once. Typically for my daytime POV shooting, I was using an action cam and that action camera performs poorly during night time. I wouldn't even look at the footages. But now I'm using the DJI Pocket 3. It allows me to do a little bit of night shooting and I actually thought that the footage from this DJI Pocket 3 looks quite decent thanks to the one inch image sensor paired with F2 bright aperture lens. It actually has a gimbal on it. So I get this smooth video while I'm walking around. It's fully stabilized. So finally, I can do some night shooting, night POV videos to show you guys. If you are in Kuala Lumpur and you're looking for locations to shoot at night, you should definitely check out Bukit Bintang. This area is very lively at night. There's a lot of people around. There's many things happening. Definitely a place for night street photography. You'll get a lot of action in your shots. Looking at the high ISO images coming out from this camera, previewing them quickly to the camera's LCD screen, I was actually very happy with the shots. Yes, of course, there is high ISO noise, especially if I'm shooting at ISO 2200, 6400 or beyond. But am I bothered by the noise? No. To me, it is the moment, it is the ambience, it is what I'm capturing, what's in the frame that actually matters more. A good photograph is a good photograph, whether there is noise or not. If you have a perfectly clean photograph with no high eyes or noise and you don't have a strong story to tell and you don't have a good subject content, then it is still a poor photograph. I'd rather have a photograph that's full of high eyes or noise and is well composed. It tells a good story. I really do enjoy night walks. You get different kind of photographs compared to shooting during daytime. I think night street photography is just so, so fun, but I don't get to do a lot of them because it has been raining so much in Kuala Lumpur. Every time in the evening, it pours so much that I know that my cameras and lenses, some of them are weather sealed, but I am not. I don't want to fall sick. I need to be in good health to be able to shoot and earn a living. Anyways, whenever there is a chance, I'll definitely grab the camera out and get some shots.
That's all I have to share about night shooting in Bukit Bintang using this old Panasonic GM1 and the kit lens. I hope you've enjoyed looking at my photographs and I hope you've learned a thing or two from my sharing. If you do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how I can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It will definitely help me to continue making more content and publish them right here. Until the next one, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye!